week 10, day five. Here we are in Deuteronomy chapters eight through 11. In this section, Moses again reiterates the importance of the word of God, that the word of God is more valuable than anything else that people may encounter. As they are about to go into a land of milk and honey, there are going to be plenty of things to turn their heads. Um, you know, in fact, the, the possessions, the land, the farms that have already been started, the honeycombs, the wells, everything that's already been produced by other peoples that they're going to take over. And they're going to inherit and become very wealthy in a very quick turnaround, going from nomads wandering in the desert to a people who are settled and can collect possessions. But Moses tells them in this section that the word of God, God's commandments, God's instruction are more valuable than any riches that they will encounter, any power that they might be able to collect, and any miracles that they might see or participate in. The word of God is even more valuable than that. In fact, it should be little wonder to those of us who are Christians and follow Jesus Christ when we look forward into the Gospels, in Matthew 4, verses 1 through 4, when Jesus is in the wilderness and he's tempted by Satan, at one point after 40 days, Satan points out, you must be starving. Why don't you turn these stones into bread? And Jesus responds, man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. To Jesus, God's word was even more valuable than food to a starving man. What do we starve for? What do we hunger for? Do we hunger for God's word? Perhaps that is something we need to pursue as this year continues.